All right, this is a convert kit sequence walkthrough I have an opt-in form on my website and I've been getting a handful of email subscribers via organic traffic, but haven't used the sequence tool in ConvertKit to follow up with them. So that's what we're doing here today. You can see this is my ConvertKit dashboard, a couple of new subscribers a week or so. And so I clicked here on sequences and then I've, so far I've created one email sequence. I'll sh show you some of the features. So I gave email subject. I decided to personalize by inserting a merge tag. That would be the subscriber's name. Collected from their initial opt-in. I put a comma there and text. I got a link to buy an associated book and then a link back to my website. I hit save all and this goes out one day after someone signs uh, for the uh, from opt-in so I wouldn't if I would like to add another email I can you can see how um, and they're both in draft stage you can see how nice this layout is in convert kit for so I'm going to go ahead and publish this email. Very well, thanks. The view in the browser. It's a little high, so I'm going to bring this down. Can add an image in. I might do that. That's fine. Image. Space between the image and the name. Now I go back and view the sequence. So this is called the FCA Devotions on ramp. And I'll go back to my lists. I've got people tagged here because they came through that opt in. Let's do an automation. Definitely some cool things that can happen here. Joins a form, yes. Joins a form. Wait, actually, I'll go back. I'm going to do it when. I'm going to specify when a tag is added. I'll create an automation when someone is added to a tag. The emotions because they could come through two different opt ins. In the email sequence.
and that tag is added. All right, I've made this automation. So when someone's tagged with this particular tag because they came through one of two different opt-in opportunities on our website, they will be given this. Uh, they will be tagged this way and then added to the email sequence I just showed you. And I turn it on. I would like to send this sequence to all the people that already. I just send this as a broadcast to the 51 or so people that are already on the list. Let's see. So I'm sending this to people who are already on my email list for this particular. changes that I'm going to move back into the email sequence. Checking links, it's a cool feature. checked out. So that email back in the queue now. I'm going to go back to my sequence. Text back in, need some edits. 
awesome. So there we have it. Thanks so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to the platform shop. Thank you.